Hey guys, I'm Roger Wakefield, lead APV expert plumber, coming to you to talk to you this morning about why plumbers hate Drano. And we get that call off and it's like, look, we've got a stopped up drain. We've got a stopped up sink. We've got a stopped up toilet, a stopped up shower, whatever it is. If you've got a clogged drain, Drano is not your answer. Drano leads to long-term problems because it's an acidic cleanser that comes in. It, it doesn't dissolve the hair or anything that's clogging drains. It kind of breaks up some of the gels, anything that is forming that shouldn't. But here's what it does to damage your pipes. If you've got old cast iron pipes, literally it does what we call channel rot. We've gone into houses that people have used Drano forever and literally the bottom of the cast iron pipe has been eaten away. Guys, this leads to several tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage to your house. And I know that's not a problem that most people want. I understand they've got a, a stopped up drain and they may not want to call a plumber, but a plumber is going to cost you a few hundred dollars where using Drano over and over again is going to cost you several thousand dollars. Even if it's just the bottom of a P-trap on a tub or shower, depending on where that P-trap is, it could cost you thousands of dollars. Guys, instead of Drano, find out what's clogging your sink. Find out what's causing it. What products are you putting down that sink that, that's causing, causing it to clog? If, if it's a shower, maybe, maybe the gels that you're using, the, the product that you're using on your hair, maybe you're not using hot enough water. Maybe you need just to take a clothes hanger and put a hook on the end of it and take that cover off your drain and reach in there every now and then and pull the hair out. Believe it or not, this good looking head right here used to be covered with long hair. I actually had hair that went down to my waist. Not a problem. Problem is my tubs and showers in the houses that I lived in would stop up. Luckily, me being a plumber, I knew how to reach inside the drain, unstop it, unclog it, and then do the things that I needed to do to help keep it that way. I used to be a hairstylist. We used to have those plastic screens that you could drop down in the drain that would catch hair. Then you could just reach in there with your finger and pull all that out. Guys, that's another good product to use. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. At Texas Green Plumbing, we sell a product called Bio One. We really like it. It removes fog, which are fats, oils, and grease. It, it breaks it down and basically turns it into water. It's great if you're on a septic system, and it's great if you've got lines, maybe your kitchen line, your washing machine line, that just kind of drain slow. This is a product that you can pour in your lines and literally clean it out, make them work well, and guys, it's not bad for your pipes. So there are other products out there. We hope that you look for some of them, find them, and, and hopefully you'll find something that works well for you. And hopefully it's something that does not damage your plumbing system. So hope you're enjoying these tips and messages. I hope that if there's anything you want to learn, leave us a message down in the comments. Ask us a question. If you like what we're doing, let us know. Subscribe to our channel. Click on the button down here. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. That way you know when we're going live and posting stuff. And guys, tell your friends about it. Share this information, get it out there. We've put some stuff out that can really help people and help, pe help save people money. My name's Roger Wakefield with Texas Grain Plumbing, saving you money one drop at a time.